Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo and in this video you are going to learn about the SUM method in Ruby. The SUM method was introduced in Ruby 2.4 and it will help you do what the name says. It sums a list of numbers. Let's see an example. If I have an array like one, two, three, four, five, I want to add all of the numbers. That means I want one plus two plus three plus four plus five. One thing you can do is to use inject. So let's use inject plus, and that is exactly that. It adds up all of the numbers, and we can print the result, which is 15. Now sum does the same thing but it's just a sh like a shortcut for this. So sum, if I run it, you can see it's the same output. It's also 15 because it does, it, it also like inject, it adds up every number and it gives you the total, the result. Now it is useful because you have to type less, right? Just three letters. It's easy to remember. The method says what it does. But it's even more useful in the following example. Let's say that I have an array of arrays, like the following. I have one comma one, two comma two, and then I have three comma three. And now I want to add this up. I want to add one plus one, two plus two, and three plus three. So to do that, I will first need to map. Why do I need map? Because I want to add up, I want to sum every one of these super arrays individually. I don't want the total of everything. I just want the total for every super array. So that means this will be two, this will be four, and this will be six. And for that we need map, because map allows you to go over every element of the array and then change it in some way, transform it. So if we use here, let's do S. As um, inject plus. So it is the same thing, but for every super array, and we get the output, which is what we expected 246. Now, if you want a shortcut version of this, and by shortcut version, I mean without the block, like this one, something like that, right? This won't work, we get an error as you can see. So what we need here is a method that doesn't take any arguments and that's sum. So sum works in here and we get the correct output. And this is the shortcut version with map. So I found this very useful when you want to do something like this. And that's the sum method. Remember, this was introduced in Ruby 2.4. So if you have an older version, make sure to upgrade to the latest version of Ruby so you get access to this method and many other new methods that have been added to Ruby. So that's it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and visit my website rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching, I will see you in the next video.